check if that is something that you'll be interested in. Stay tuned. Okay, you all, so let's hop right on in. We are still in the month of March. We're doing a paycheck to paycheck. It is Tuesday. I am a little, a day late, a day late. But let's get it done. So um, if you're interested or not, I make these inserts for myself. I wanted to make them so that they would be um, easy for me being self-employed, but also great for anyone who is um, who has a paycheck or what have you. So let's dive right on in and we're going to start with the week. Let's highlight. I'm using a lighter one today and it'll be March 17th. Excuse me, March 7th through the 13th. <laughs> okay, uh, let's, let's go to our um, monthly calendar. So just in case I won't forget anything, but I should not because I this is our slow week as far as bills. And I'm thinking about maybe pushing some bills to this week. Okay, so if you're new here, I have like three sources of income. And the first one is hair. I am a full-time licensed hairstylist. So income, I'm gonna drop this. I've been doing 750, been kind of making that. So I'm gonna stick with 750. Kind of wanna drop it, but I won't. Nails, so far, I don't have any nails to do this week. Um, next is Shopify. That is the shop that I have my printables in and some stickers that you can use for your planner. And last week, Shopify, it said I had a total of 143. I have it written down here. Let me show you guys. I got it on a sticky note. So Shopify last week made a total of 143.40. So some of my business owners who have a Shopify know how it works. So like if someone pays with a credit card, it may take a couple of days. So that was divided up. So this week I made a total of 53.43 and then I sold some customs. So that's $20. Um, so that'll be 73.43 for this week. And then last week, um, like I said, it was a total of 143. So we just subtracted that 53, not including the customs. And it's 89.97 is what we made last week. And that's something I didn't do. I just realized I didn't do a recap of last week. But we'll run a recap if we have a little bit of time. So with these two together... And I'm not expecting anything else from Shopify this week because it's kind of slow. But who knows? I think I just wrote 73.43. You know what? Let me mark that out. Let me mark that out. Because I just wrote down what I've gotten. I didn't write down what I anticipated. So I'm just going to make that an even 80. So what we have here will be 830. 820. Hold on, let me count. 830. <laughs> I was right. Okay, so we have a total income of 830 this week. This is pretty much gone. Just ten dollars if we get it. So this week, um also Shopify is due this week. They tried to get it again last week, which I think I had that down, but I plan to pay it this week. So I'm going to put it down for like Saturday the 12th. And I can't remember. I think it was $70. I'm going to put 75 to be on the safe side. Okay. And then we have my car note. I did go back in and put my payments back at half. So it would be 181.60. And that is car note number one. I just want to get back on track with that because that works for me. And then I'm going to add this in. I was debating of adding it in, but um, I don't think I'm going to add it in because last week I had my T Mobile bill. It came out this week. But I had put some of the money aside. You know what? Let me write it down. And what I will do, because I had to put money to it. And I think I put about, uh, 
I don't know. Let's just put 200. I already had some money. I'm trying to think how much did I put to it. Let's just put 200 down for T-Mobile, even though I had some money left over from last week, because that's going to reflect in, you know, my amount. Also, we did that one week and we were off and we thought we were in a negative, but you know, so T-Mobile that came out on Monday, we're really Tuesday, so let's put the eighth there. We have Cardinal and then let's put Booth Rent. And that is now 250. And that is due on the 12th. So now I'm going into my everyday um, planner. I carry it with me to work. I keep finances in here too as well. And I write them down like on this weekly check-in. So I can look and see and see here. I went to get Walmart. Walmart came out this week. But I'm not adding Walmart because the money was there for Walmart. So we just have car note. Oh, and car insurance. See, I'm glad I looked over here. I'm putting car insurance on the 12th too because that was supposed to be paid on the 28th. But I didn't have the money. And that is 206 so I always pay like a week or two late. It just depends on what I have going. And I do have Shopify down, but I need to put 75 here. So that's all. So I, here I have a total of 712, but I'm just going to re-add it up. This is, should be everything that I have to pay this week. So let's get to adding. Nine hundred and twelve dollars and sixty cent. I don't see that being right. Two four six. Yeah, nine hundred. Let me put this on something because let me get a sticky note here. Let's so I'm gonna use these little page flags here, and I'm just gonna put it nine hundred twelve dollars. 60 cent and over here I'm just going to put with uh, T-Mobile and then I'm going to take off the T-Mobile and I'm going to see what I get without the T-Mobile because I had most of the T-Mobile from the T-Mobile, it is 712. We'll just put 712. So here with 830, we subtract the 712. A hundred and eighteen dollars. So if we add the 712, let's see, plus five. So, yeah. Hmm. So, I'm a little stumped right now because this is my total. I know I just can't remember. I should have wrote it down, but I did put that in my little uh, planner, um, my everyday carry about this T Mobile. So, it was out, but. Again, I know I didn't use all of the money. I did have some of the money, but I took some of my money from Monday that I made at work and put towards this. So I'm, and I had some left over. So we'll just take T-Mobile out. That leaves us, leaves us with $118. I'm pretty sure, almost positive, that we'll be able to pay everything this week. If we don't, the only thing that will go would be the car insurance, and we'll push that to next week. I need to pay it by the 15th. So everything else, though, we should be good on. And again, Shopify. Shopify say they'll come back out on the 19th. So if nothing else, I can get my car note and my booth rent paid, if nothing else. But it was some money left over to aid with us with the Shopify and the car insurance. But everything else is looking good. So um, I'm going to pop this back in. Yeah, it's a little... 
I know it's a little hard to understand because I am self-employed, but I want to be accurate. I just want to make sure that I'm accurate. I'm going to stick this in here as a reminder so when I go to do a review. Yeah, I just want to be accurate with my budget. I don't want to be misleading, so I want to make sure that I'm telling you guys exactly what I'm doing because I know I have a couple of self-employed people who follow me and, you know, they may have some questions. Well, why do you even pay that? Or what was the actual amount? And I know my girl, Shakisha, sometimes we're both self-employed, so we've discussed about paying our bills like a certain way among the days that we work. Um, so, this was February 28th. Let's do a quick rundown. February the 28th through March 6th. Uh, I got a total from work here. I try to be prepared, y'all. I try to be prepared. So, what did I make last week? Last week turned out to be pretty good. We made $700 and a ninety dollars last week let me write that down so i had 750 so we ended up actually making 790 dollars we didn't do any nails last week um shopify made 89.97 so what's our total $879, we'll just make it even, $879, you guys, um, that's what we ended up making last week, Carlton Paper got paid, Amazon got paid, Ultra got paid, see, that was something else, a lot of this stuff came out this week, um, Capital One got paid, um, Credit One, I didn't pay them, because they were already paid, Community, I paid, somebody got paid $40. No, they got paid. Shopify didn't get paid. Walmart got paid, it was $28. Booth Rent got paid. Uh, PayPal got paid, I think that came out the week before. So everything was good. Uh, some payment that I'm missing that was $40. It may be, I think it is the Community Bank. I think it was capital no credit one they got 40 so that's what happened there so everything got paid last week and then again we had this extra income from shopify i am trying to keep up my um shop and try to keep new and interesting things coming in there i do have some new horizontal um, inserts coming out but yeah everything else it's working so I can't wait to get my taxes so that I can like kind of get ahead because I want to get to the point where I'm paying myself weekly and I'm seeing every week that I'm making about 750 a week I want to be able to have let's see what $2,800 in the bank and then be able to pay up these bills and just get at least a month ahead so that's all for today you guys thank you so much for stopping by per usual if today is your first time stopping by looking at any of my con content and you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more from me please do me a favor hit that subscribe button also hit the notification bell and i'll see you in my next video bye